I'm going to be sharing with you how to edit skin tones. Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy, Oscar Ntege, again with yet another amazing video. Oftentimes, we shoot in spaces where we have a lot of things that are in color. Certain colors tend to reflect onto the skin, making the skin tones look non so natural, non so good. I'm first going to show you how to do it the manual way in Photoshop. Then after, I'm going to show you how you can do it in one click. However, the one click version is going to require some investment from your side. And if you own a studio and do a lot of people photography, this is a tool that you would love to have in your arsenal because it is going to help you with matching skin tones and having better skin tones in your pictures. Your pictures will always come out very, very amazing in print. It is a tool worth having. But for those of you who want to save money and you have the time on your hands, I'm going to show you how to do it the manual way. Ready? Let's dive into this. Basically, we are going to create these different curves adjustment layers. One adjustment layer is going to help us reduce the cyan. The other one is going to help us reduce the reds. And the other one is going to help us reduce the magentas and all that. You don't have to worry. I'm going to create an action for you so that you can download all these particular curves adjustment layers so that you don't have to redo them again. Yeah, let me first undo this. Let's first understand something before we get into this particular thing. And I'm going to press Ctrl B on my keyboard. Now, this is the spectrum you have to understand first before everything else. You have to look at what color is opposite the other. So if the picture has a lot of red, in order for you to reduce the red, you have to add in more magenta. Yeah. And if, of course, the picture has more green in the skin tones, you have to add more magenta. Colors that are opposite one another are the colors we're going to use to fight these other colors. Okay. So this is the only thing you have to master. Basically, one one side has CMY and the other one has RGB. R is opposite of C. Green is opposite of magenta. Blue is opposite of yellow. So these colors are going to fight one another when we are doing matching these skin tones and making the skin tones better. Because when you look at this image right now, it has these particular parts that are, you know, bit darkened. Then we have also these zones. Then when you look at this, we have a magenta here. Then we have these yellows. Of course, this magenta is part of the makeup, but I'm going to use it to show you how this technique works. Yeah, We're going to come here, create, and we're going to do to get the red. And in order for us to reduce the greens in these pictures, like these particular greens, we have to pump up the reds. So what we're going to do, we're going to rename this reduce. The color that is opposite red is cyan. So we add in more that, control I. So the next cover adjustment layer we're going to do is still going to be curves. We come back to the red zone. Now, in order for us to cap down the red, definitely we go towards the cyan side. Yeah, and what we're going to do, we're going to rename this reduce red because it is the what is opposite red, like that. Control I. So the next curves adjustment layer we're going to do, we're now going to get into green. And in order for us to reduce the, the magentas, we pump up the greens. And then we're going to call this reduce magenta. Okay, and we are going to press Ctrl I to invert it. So we're going to still come back and create another curves adjustment layer. And we're going to come back to the greens and then we're going to pump it down. And this is going to help us reduce the greens. Yeah. Then we're going to press Ctrl or Command I to invert. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to still come here, create another curves adjustment layer. And then we get into the blues right here. And then we pump up the blues. Now, this is also going to help us reduce yellows. Okay. You did I right here like that. Command I to invert. Then we are also going to do another curves. This is the last one. And we're going to come still into the blues and pull it down again. Now, this is going to help us reduce blues okay command i to convert to invert this now we're going to put all of these in a group yeah just like this and i'm going to rename these skin tones with curves yeah that is what i've renamed it so what are we going to do right now now we are going to zoom in this particular image and begin 
working on this image but before i get into the details the nitty-gritty of editing this image let me show you how this thing works now when you look at this particular part of the eye this is part of the picture i don't want to remove this in a, in a way but i'm only doing it for the sake of your understanding now when you look at this particular image here it has a bit of magenta so how do we do reduce the magenta you come on to here where we have reduce magenta and then you get your brush tool now i'm just going to leave it at 100 for the sake of this tutorial and yeah i'm going to put press caps lock and then i'm just going to come and paint see how what happens the magenta actually is reduced to zero but let's do it the way i would do it in a usual picture i'll put this at two yeah the flow at two and leave the opacity at uh, 100 then i'll come to the reduced magenta and i just paint slowly over like this until the magenta is somehow matched to the skin tones now do you see how this part has matched the colors of this let me show you the before and after look at that that's the before and that's the after that's the before that's the after now that is the how this particular system works now i don't want to lose out on the magenta yeah so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come bring back the opacity here and paint again with black just to bring that back but now you get the point of how it works let me show you how it would work maybe on uh, on this particular yellow zone so how do we reduce the yellows of course i'm going to come here on the reduce yellows i don't know because is it because i use capital letters uh -huh. so I'll come click on to the reduce yellows and i'll still come and put this at two yeah because i don't want the effects to be so intense i want to do this slowly if i want to reduce the yellows here definitely i'll come make sure white is on top here and i'll come click on to the reduce yellows and i'll just come and paint over here like this now do you see how this works guys i just come and just paint over like this same applies to this side i will do the same over here and if this is the best way of even making makeup nude in case you want to make a particular part of the makeup nude if you're a makeup artist who edits your own pictures this is a very great video for you you can actually tone down on the makeup using this technique look at this that's the before that's the after guys that is how this works but i don't want to remove this because this is all part of the makeup yeah so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come and bring this back and we begin doing the actual retouching here of what we will do so when you look at this particular part we have a bit of yellows and we want to reduce the yellow so i'm just going to get this i put back this to two and then i'm just going to come and paint over slowly i just add on layers on layers because i want to make to do a build up that is slow i don't want to get it overly you know just come and all oh, this i just come and also you know just turn down the yellow there is also this particular shades of yellow around here also around this particular zone i just come and balance out these colors basically like even around here the nose seems to be yellowing and the like okay and when you look at this basically you're having this particular activity going on so the next thing i'm going to do i'm now going to come into we need to reduce this cyan do you see this like we have a bit of cyan here this blackish now usually this, this in 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 a so we come and reduce the cyan by clicking here i get my brush tool i reduce it here and i just come and paint over here over the edge like this slowly and they build it up you see how that works i also come on over this side and also do the same i paint over like that like that so look at this that's the before that's the after you see how this works so you just come in building this now there is a bit of magenta over the nose so i'll come here to the reduce magenta and still i'll come and just paint over like that i also come around that area i paint over to reduce the magenta okay so that i have it a bit matched so also here we have a bit of magenta too much magenta here so i'll still come and do the same into the neck area and reduce the magenta and when you look at it i would love also to come here and uh, reduce that bit of sign when everywhere you see that there is a bit dark dark you make sure you come and patch onto the reduced sand bit 
and just paint over there because that that is what causes those particular parts to be pale to appear pale like somebody doesn't have blood in their skin so you just come and reduce the sun every time you see that in an image yeah like that guys nice. isn't this amazing the how what you can do with this particular thing i used to use this particular technique on high-end portraits you don't have to do this on every portrait of course people who give you less money you don't need i'm not saying okay it depends on your standard but certain pictures wouldn't really require this but i usually do this for high-end commercial shoots billboard pictures and uh pictures beauty pictures product pictures that are going to go on billboard and in maybe magazines this is when i use these particular techniques and for those high-end paying clients otherwise those clients who pay less usually I give them simple basic editing but i'm giving you this this particular thing for people who want you know that high-end tool but now i do it in all my pictures because i have an ai tool that can do this as as a whole without me having to go into the nitty-gritty now basically that's how you do it the manual way but look at this that's the before that's the after now what if there was a way you could do this whole system here using ai just in two simple clicks or one click let me show you how okay now i'm going to remove that's the before that's the after of how we do it the manual way now let me show you how to do this using one single click of course it's going to require a little bit of investment on your side so let's do this i'm just going to create to come here over this particular tool and i'm going to come here into filter and i'm going to say retouch for me and i'm going to say skin tone look at this guys ai is going to make its auto selection the same like this and what i'm going to do the amazing thing about this particular plugin is that it gives you a soft light layer in order for you to edit certain parts that you're not satisfied with and the fact that this particular plugin works with any kind of skin tone i'm super amazed you know most of the plugins that they release don't work so well with dark skin but this particular one i'm very very surprised that it works so well with dark skin with people of color i mean it is super super inclusive that is an advantage that i saw about this so i'm going to come here and say apply guys look at this this is how it works you remember how we are doing it in these tonal curves just coming here and painting over all these particular things now ai automatically does this it even goes ahead and does the same effect on to the ears i barely don't even think about editing ears but this thing goes into even color correcting the ears because remember we have makeup on the face but usually they forget putting makeup and foundation onto this now you remember how we also reduce the magentas onto these particular edges now that's how amazing ai is so what we're going to do is click onto this and then we rename it as soft light now look at this that's the before that's the after before and after now ai has done it actually way better even in a more precise way you know i'm not saying you can't do it more precise in the manual way but it would take you hours and hours but you've done this with ai in just a few minutes now i don't want i didn't want it to take away this makeup done by the makeup artist so i'm just going to come here and click a layer mask just right next to the o soft light layer and i'm just going to get my brush tool make sure black is on top i will increase the flow to 100 right here and then i'm just going to paint back the makeup done by the makeup artist and then guys there you have it that is how you use ai to edit skin tones now if you want to get a 20 percent off discount on this plugin you click the first link in the description below and of course when you buy through my link i get a simple commission that helps me give you free content and run this channel smoothly guys this thing is worth all the investment i've used many ai tools but this ai tool in particular is very very inclusive is very very amazing and it is going to give you super amazing results especially if you do a lot of people photography and if you want to do high-end glam photography or high-end commercial looking portraits this is a great tool to have it is a one-time payment you pay once and you own the software forever come on Click the first link in the description below and give this particular retouch for me skin tone up try and i hope to see you in the next one and adios
Yo, what's up my brother, what's up my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntegi again with yet another amazing video. Now in this particular video today, I'm going to show you how to edit the eyes in one click. Of course, there are many ways to edit eyes, but the problem I found with the manual ways of editing eyes is that sometimes you don't get consistent results. Sometimes the eyes tend to look very artificial. They tend to look very white and the eyes don't seem to have the veins. Now, the tool we are going to use, we are going to use an AI tool to edit the eyes and make them more vibrant, which is going to actually to create more presence in your portraits. This is how I create presence in my portraits because, you know, as you all know, the eyes are the gateway to the soul. If the eyes go wrong in your portrait, then the portrait is not going to look more appealing and it's not going to evoke any kind of emotion. So this particular AI plugin by Retouch for me, it is the AI bundle. It is actually the eye bundle. It's going to help you create more presence and whiten those and edit your eyes and give them that vibrant kind of feel. It is a, such an amazing plugin and, um, plug and I'm, I'm actually excited to share this with you. Let me show you how this works, okay? So what we are going to do basically, you just, I'm going to create a screenshot of this particular layer, Control Alt, Shift and E, yeah? And the first thing we're going to do right now, we're going to rename this, eye vessels yeah because we're going to first remove the faces that's the first thing we're going to do and what i'm going to do i'm just going to come into filter and then i'm going to say uh retouch for me then i'm going to say eye vessels look at this guys look at this look at that guys isn't this amazing let me just actually create the amazing thing about this is that you can even read create a layer so i'll just stick make sure that make mask is sticked there then we're going to say apply so that they create a layer you know let me show you guys how what we have look at this that's the before that's the after before and after look at that guys isn't that amazing and the amazing thing is that it has not actually removed the vessels to make the eyes artificial instead it has removed those bloody those blood stains that come as people age look at this guys isn't this amazing so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to make the eyes even more present by adding that kind of uh, oomph and brightness to the eyes so what are we going to do i'm going to create a stamp on top of this Control alt shift and e or command shift option and e if you're using a mac and i'm going to name this i brilliance okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come here into filter retouch for me and then i'm going to say i brilliance let us see how it does magic guys i love this plugin so much i love retouch for me and by the way if you want to get a 20 percent discount off these plugins just click the first link in the description below and use my coupon code for a 20 percent discount you're going to take your portrait photography to the next level let me just come here and of course just increase it right here yeah so that i have them pop yeah look at that let me see how it, oh my god this is super amazing guys look at this isn't this amazing look at that that's the before and that's the after before and after and we have the eye all looking actually it just matches the skin it just matches the whole picture it doesn't look overly worked like our manual techniques and the beautiful thing about this is that you get consistent results that are natural looking you don't have to do man guys this is super amazing of course if you buy it from my link i get a simple commission that helps me create for you these amazing free tutorials and even if you're a beginner photographer or a person who doesn't want to waste time in post-production these tools come in handy they're going to save you hours and hours you would have spent doing minute doing portrait photography today in a, i spent almost something like around eight to ten minutes editing a photo using these particular ai tools why because they make everything 
simple for you for example i use the frequency separation plugin to do my skin retouching then i use of course the retouch for so me skin to tone to match the skin tones of the pictures then i use the retouch for me portrait volumes to do the general burning and dodging so which to create more depth in my faster. image These then i use the retouch for me background cleanup clean the backgrounds and remove all the squeezes in the background then i use the mattifier to of bring course, back down, to reduce the highlights on overly exposed things. Basically, so I'm able to I got this retouch this for me bundle, so and it has reduced my workflow. These days, I even so edit my wedding using AI easier. tools. I just and go to bed, set up my actions, and I leave the script running. Simple, like I have actually know, cut down the time I spend in editing. That's why I can even deliver a wedding on the same day using these AI tools. The only downside these particular tools have is that you need a powerful computer here. in order for these these some of these plugins to run for example a plugin like uh so the skin uh, tone plugin of course takes a lot of after. ram so and or a lot of graphics do power so you need separation. to have a powerful machine but the, other than the, that the this but if you can run this photoshop any photoshop version i guess this particular any photoshop cc version these particular ai plugins will do wonders for you and i highly highly recommend these plugins guys thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video if you've enjoyed this video come on that I want to click that button and I'll see right you in the next here. one and adios like that. so I'm just going to come and do skin retouching basically on this particular image filter blah Gaussian blah like that I don't want to take it overboard still come here do the same that press control F like that So I just come and do all this skin tone work. okay so now i've finished working on the skin tones so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm just going so now i've finished working on the skin tone so so now i've finished working on, on the so now i've finished working on the skin texture i've done actually smoothed out the skin the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going now to work on the skin tones i'm going to do it the manual way so how do we do that so what i'm going to do i just come on top of these particular frequency separation layers let me just rename these. These were the tones and these were the textures. Textures. So what I'm going to do, the, basically the skin is divided into three different colors. So what we have, we have magentas within the skin tones. Then we have cyans and then we also have... Uh, we have science and then we have oh so to work on the skin tones in the manual we are going to use what they call curves so we are going to use the rgb curves so how are we going to do this so i come here into curves adjustment layers yeah and then what we are going to do i click on two curves now this is going to help us reduce the yellows so how do we reduce the yellows basically we just come here 
into the curves adjustment layer. We click here and then the, the only way to reduce the yellows, you come here onto the blue filter because blue is opposite. Before, before we come here, okay, let me first delete this. So let me first, in order for you to understand how, in order for you to understand how, how matching skin, to, skin tones works, you have to first understand this graph. Let us look at this. This is the color balance graph. Now you have to understand if the skin tones have a lot of red, definitely you have to take it towards the cyan side. If they have a lot of magenta, you have to increase the greens. If the skin tones, for example, have a lot of blues, you have to increase the yellows and vice versa. So you have to understand which colors yeah, are opposite one another when it comes. I'll call this the light color wheel, if that even makes sense. But what colors are opposite one another on this particular spectrum? So cyan is opposite red. Magenta is opposite green. Yellow is opposite blue. So if a picture has too much blues, definitely it would require more yellows in order for you to bring a balance within those particular images. Now, when you look at this image here, yeah, right here, and you look, let me just put her here, I hope, Leah, for, to help us understand this very well. Now, when you look at this particular layer, you look at these particular zones. Uh, let me just increase this. This this has a bit of yellows, too much yellow, and also this part has a bit of yellow being reflected here. Then when you look around here, there is a bit of too much red, yeah, in this particular zone. And when you look here, it ha it has darkened a bit, so we need to brighten it up with a bit of reds because this is like a cyanish color. You know, with experience, you learn how to see this. Also, when you look at this particular zone, you still see it has a bit of sand. So here we need some bit of red to bring back those skin tones. So how do we do this the manual way? Let me delete this so that we get into this thing and we understand this. So I'm going to use curves adjustment layers. So I'm going to create uh, something like six different curve adjustment layers. One is going to be for the blues, one is going to be for the magentas, one is going to be for the reds, then the other one is going to be for the cyans, and the other one is going to be for the yellows. I know it's confusing, but what I'm going to do for those of you, I'm going to create for you an action that you can just, you know, download and add into your Photoshop in that when you want to adjust any of these uh, particular skin tones, you just click on to a button and you get all these layers worked for you. Deal? Great, let's do this for you. So I come here into curves adjustment layers and what I do, I get into the reds. So I pump up the reds, yeah. So under the red, yeah, what color is opposite red? It is cyan. So I'm going to rename this reduce cyan, okay? Rather, yes. This one is for reducing cyans, uh-huh. Then I'm just going to press Control I to invert the, the mask. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to still come here into the curves adjustment layer, get into the reds as well. So the next thing I'm going to do, this one is to help us reduce the reds. I just pull it down, yeah. So I just come here and say, reduce the reds. It is going to make sense right now. It may be confusing, but trust me, it's going to make sense. Yeah, so what we're going to do, I still come here and say, Control I. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm now just going to go into the blue color.
So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to work onto the greens adjustment layer. So how are we going to do that? Now, what we do still, I'm first going to raise it up like that. So what are we going to use this one for? The, this is going to help us reduce the magentas where it seems to be too much of magenta. Okay, that is what we're going to use this one for. I'm going to still come and press control I. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm still going to come into the curves adjustment layers right here. And what am I going to do right now? I'm still going to come into the green adjustment layer. And what am I going to do? I'm just going to pull it down so that it brings in more magenta. So I'm going to use this to reduce the green, okay? Control I. So now this is where your seeing comes from. Okay, yes, I know this is makeup, but for the sake of this tutorial to show you how this thing works, I'm just going to first work on this particular part. When you look at this part, it's much more, it is towards the tones of magentas and the like. You know, it takes actually practice in order for you to understand this. Of course, the more you look at pictures, the more you're going to begin seeing these particular colors, of course, come to you're going to begin seeing these particular colors. So if if I have, if I have of course magenta here, so I'll come on to the reduce magenta curve adjustment layer. So I'll get my brush tool right here, and then I'll make sure the flow is at around two or three, but we shall keep it at around three there so that you can see the effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come with white and then I paint over. Look at what happens, guys. You see how we reduce the magenta? But I don't want to reduce the magenta in this picture. Let me just zoom it out, zoom out for you. Look at this, look at that. That's the before, that's the after, before, after. So you see how the technique works? Now you understand how it works. So what I'm going to do, I, I wasn't meant to remove this magenta because it was part of the makeup. Yes, yeah? so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come here and uh, let me increase this and I just bring it back. Yeah, and I bring it back using by painting black on top of it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, come on. Let me reduce the brush size. So I'm going to put this back at uh, around two. Let me put it at two so that I don't get, I don't get it so intense. So when you look around this area, there is this yellowish reflection. So what we do, we come here onto the yellow adjustment layer and then I get my brush and I'm going to get a big brush and just brush over this particular area like that. Just like that. So I, oh sorry, I'm, I have to have black on top, rather white on top. So I just come and paint over this particular area so that I reduce on that yellow color cast around that area okay i know you you may not see a difference i don't know whether the screen will be able to show that difference so i come and paint over just to remove that yellow color cast that is around this area so basically what it's doing it is helping me balance off you know those colors let me just show you what I have. Like, look at this. That's the before, that's the after. Before and after, before and after. So I still come around that this area, like here, and I still come and remove that yellow color cast. Wherever I see a yellow, all this. Now also here, I come and paint over. You So I'm, I'm going to do it roughly, but if you're doing client's work, definitely you have to do it in a more, much more restricted way. You know, this, I use usually this for people who have paid, you know, that high back, that top back. That is when I do this, when I'm doing, for example, like beauty shots, high-end commercial shots, pictures that are going on billboards. This is when I do this kind of color grading, yeah? So rather this, this kind of skin correction. 
so i still come now when you look at this particular zone where it is dark now this is a bit of a cyanish color what does it need so it needs more reds so what i do i still come with my red i just come and paint over Ooh, this was no yeah no this was actually yeah i reduced science this is where i come and then i come and paint over like that to reduce the cyans. So what color should I add here more? So I'm going to add more reds. So what I do, I come onto the reduce blue feature and then I just still do that. I do the same thing here. I still want to reduce onto the science here. I just come and paint red around that area. I still come and want to reduce it a bit here like that. So basically, I come doing this, but this is going to take a lot of time. So you do the same thing with colors and the light. I still come here into now this. I want to reduce onto the blues around this area because what I come, I do I come here.
So basically what it is going to do, he's going to balance out all the skin tones. So I don't have to guess which skin tone doesn't work where right here. This is the soft light blending mode. So basically what it has done, it has balanced out all the skin tones. It has removed the magentas and the like, but what, what I, do, I didn't want to remove, you see how the ears weren't matching the, the face and how it has turned everything. Actually, I don't even usually work on the ears. I usually forget the ears, but with AI, you leave no stone unturned. Hello, yes, Sophie. Have sent, eh? Hey, Kale, I think a messaging, Kale. Thank you so, so much. Eh? You're welcome, Kale. Yeah. Mm. Another question? Yes, please. So, it to ask that when you get a number, mm. someone you ask. Any Do you do camera things or you just do only this? No, we do. I, I do. Hey, so much. But when I tell you to tell you to tell you to call a boards, to call a boards, my boards ziba and buka with time. I teach fun and chifu catch up papo and gauge tabeda na protection near your ultraviolet rays. So usually we discourage our customers from doing boards. They are cheaper, but zikolachi ziba and buka with time. Rakubaba to bagamba wange. We do to call a frames. Zino ezidi. Go on the traditional frames because zik ziku may be fun any more than boards. Yes, aatika. Yes, aatika glass. But in terms of each fun any obuta fadinga glass, eh, ye chiamba each protecting a more than a kavera kavera ku board. Yes. Muna anti katiate to discouraging. But I can actually send you a number of people who do boards. Neba ku yamba. Is there a price or mic Zach where is that? Okay. Any abo? Glass actually glass frames are more expensive than boards. Boards are what you can afford at a low yes at a low price yes please. Mm. Yes. Okay. I yeah. thought you do that and. No 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 no. Ute tu chia zikola mkuwa nezo. Ute tu chia zikola because at the end of the day, tu watu wagala chiru unji liwa customer haba fe. So I body, ntu wazi tu wazi de keda au we stop doing boards for our customers. Yeah, because we did weddings for people 10 years ago. Again, you find purple. And you don't want that. 